Good morning, folks. We've got a possible legit Cosmic Thunderbolt event that was captured by XMM Newton. Got a couple other alerts and notes, but first, a scolding. Last night's video was one of my more intelligent videos ever. Gotta say it. The video is anti-global warming, pro-solar forcing, but about half of you either weren't focused or were incapable of understanding it. If you want to know the number one problem with this community, go read the comments section on last night's video. Anyway, spaceweathernews.com, and we're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. No sunspots or solar flares, but solar wind is intensifying this morning, and the northern extension where the IMF and SPF are peaking in strength is turning into face Earth. Here at Earth, the solar wind has intensified this morning due to what looks like the density shockwave of the previous coronal hole stream. That's at six times the density. Watch for plasma speed to rise today. The coronal hole is elevating the seismic risk as Earth is connecting to that power pole for this time of year, eyes on the ground, and then in about three or four days for its solar wind as well. Quick shots of the flooding in France. More than a month of rain fell in just a few hours. This is as other parts of Europe are experiencing near-record drought conditions. Folks, one of our conference speakers published another solar climate forcing paper over the week. Dr. Tinsley is set to detail the key processes of the electrical connection between space weather and cloud microphysics at Observing the Frontier 2019. Here in this paper, it's a long-wave connection at the South Pole. Link is below for you all to take a look. The top story today is about these three stars and their X-ray variability seen by XMM Newton satellite. Most of these images were taken before high school seniors today were out of diapers, but with millions of targets, it does take a while to human check them all. Hopefully you caught the very strange feature, the brightness and excess of the entire stellar shine there happening in a place where there is not actually a star. They say it's not a solar flare or hidden binary in the system, and since these are x-rays shining and you make x-rays by putting electric current into a vacuum, I ask is this real evidence of a cosmic discharge between stellar objects? I assure you this, I'm going to look into this more because it's not good to be lazy. Being lazy can get you extinct. It can also cause half of you to 100% misunderstand last night's anti-global warming video. Fun little bit linked below. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.